Hey guys, Stuart, mainly Vandas. Hope everybody's well today. So this is the last day of March 2019, and uh, today I'm going to make a video uh, about how to top your Vanda. Uh, basically, this is an easy way to not only check for diseases or anything on your plant, uh, but to kind to but to kind of make room for. Let's say, I mean, okay, let's say you have a plant this big. I mean, this thing is ginormous, okay? It's got lots of roots on it. It's got a stem that's this long, okay? And it's got no leaves on the stem. And, and you know, and it looks kind of unsightly, to be honest with you. Um, or maybe you don't have room for this in your growing area anymore, and you want to make more room. Uh, simply put, you can clip this banda, this stem right here and it'll be perfectly fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that in a real quick video. And um, you know, in the meantime, we can check for diseases, any type of uh, bugs or anything that may be on our plant. Uh, you know, it's a really great time right now to be doing that. Uh, it is the springtime, it's getting warmer here in Central Florida. Um, so you know, the thrips are gonna be back out, the snails are gonna be back out. Uh, so we want to check for that type of thing uh, as well. So hang tight. We're going to clip this baby and uh, I'm going to show you exactly what to do and, and how to do it and exactly how many roots to, to leave on this plant here so we don't kill it. Okay guys, so I have my uh, sterilized clippers here. Uh, I got two different set of sterilized clippers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you two plants, uh, how to cut them. And uh, you know, they're two different types. Of, uh, they're, they're both vandas, but but they're you know they got different growth habits. You know, you can look at this one straight up and down. I mean, it is straight as an arrow. Uh, and then I have this one right here. It's like a curly Q type of type of plant here. You know, uh, it's, it, it, it was just growing. Maybe it was trapped uh, in a different plant. Uh, in a tree or something like that and it was just growing this way and, and sometimes this is just what vandas do you know they search for the light so I'm gonna go ahead and show you different different couple things so first basically we want to take the, the hook off or whatever you have if it's in a basket um, that's okay uh, especially if let's say your baskets down here okay down at the bottom and your plant looks like this you can just cut in the basket you can just take the basket off you don't even need the basket anymore Okay, um, baskets do take up a lot of room as well, and um, you know the, the roots from other plants can get in those baskets uh, if you've had that problem. So, um, so, okay, so take this hook off here. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to look at these some of these older roots. Okay, we want to look for if there's any actively growing root tips on these things. Um, I don't really see any on this on this plant. Uh, it is springtime, and all my other plants have actively growing root tips right now. Um, especially if the plants are healthy. Um, if the plants aren't healthy, or you're not giving enough fertilizer, perhaps, uh, then maybe you don't have uh, healthy root tips right now. And uh, you know that may be the case. Um, you know I am going to make some videos on how to properly water your, your vandas. Um, you see these ones behind me right here, you know, these are obviously watered well and fertilized well and you can see the results. So, um, you know, I am gonna make some videos on that. So basically, we, we, wanna, we wanna go up the plant with a fine tooth comb, okay? We wanna look for any bugs, any type of uh, roots that may be twig-like. Uh, I've made a video on that before. If they're twig-like, uh, you don't want those on your plant, okay? You need to get those off. Um, so, I mean, this root, this plant has got so many roots on it. I, I'm basically just going to count, count down. There, there's, there's one, two, three, four, um, five roots on here that I think are really good. Uh, the rest, I, I don't see any active root tips or anything like that. So basically, all, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clip it right here. I mean, and that's that. So, there we go. And you can already see how much better this plant looks. I mean, I got rid of that bottom, and it looks a lot better. So, and that's called topping a vanda. And that's called topping a vanda. So, that's all you basically do. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, a good way to check for diseases when you're doing this, okay? I do see a little evidence of fusarium in this plant, and, and you're gonna get that in some of these older plants, okay? Uh, if you do have that, don't fret, um, especially if it's not very visible or if it's at a, the bottom end of the plant, okay? There, you can get rid of it uh, by, by cutting more of your plant. Um, I have not found a successful way to get rid of the disease if it's full-fledged on, uh, you know. Um, so if that's the case, I just throw the plant away. So basically where I cut it right here, okay? Uh, you would see a purple ring and that's fusarium okay uh, you don't I don't necessarily see a purple ring uh, I do see a little couple of little tiny spots of purple though okay it's hard for you to maybe see on the camera but two little tiny spots of purple uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some more to make sure that that uh, I, I totally get rid of fusarium on this plant because I don't want it around my other plants as well so like I said this is this is a great time to, ch to check your plants for that um, and you know if you still see more keep cutting you know um, you, you might uh, unfortunately you, you might have to keep going to where you only have one one root left maybe or something like that if that's the case um, you can put this in a basket with a little bit of sphagnum moss or some cocoa husk and that'll provide it some extra moisture so uh, at this point, I've basically cut away at all I need to cut away, um, and and I don't see any other issues. So, okay, guys. So I just cut this. I just cut this vanda. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little tip that I do uh, to kind of seal the cut, and that's basically just use regular cinnamon. Okay, that's all I do. I just take a little bit of the cinnamon and I sprinkle it on there, and I smush it around. That's it. I have found this way. Uh, very successful and not only uh, sealing the cut but to stop crown rot too um, if you suspect your plant of crown rot you can pour cinnamon right on the crown and it'll stop it like that that's from my experience um, I have saved quite a few plants like that um, so that's a great way it's a cheap way to do it and uh, you don't have to worry about running out and finding a bunch of chemicals so so there you go I mean look at this plant it looks a lot better right so no more big huge stem, manageable now, and uh, you know I can put it back on my hook and, um, and go from there. So there we go. So we're gonna do this other one now, and uh, this one's uh, a nice plant. It's an older plant. Um, you know it, it doesn't. I don't see any evidence where it's going to kiki on this thing. Um, some of the roots are dried up right here. Um, it doesn't have, so I see a couple active root tips, but not a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, just cut. Uh, I'm going to leave three roots on here, okay? That's, that's the minimum I would say to, to leave on your plant is three roots if you're going to cut anything. So I'm going to go ahead and leave three roots. I don't want to cut it. Wow. So this plant looks really clean on the inside. So I mean, there is nothing on the inside, uh, no purple, nothing. So um, that's that's a really good sign. So um, I can basically just pull the plant like that. You know, I want to go through and clean it up, cut off any old stems, check for bugs, take some of these old uh, places off where leaves were. You know, uh, the the bugs like to hide in there. Okay, so the thrips like to really hide. Uh, in these areas where the old leaves were around the stem. So get that off of there, okay? Uh, you don't want that on there. Um, and that'll also help promote any kikis. Uh, the kikis sometimes have a hard time going through the, the, um, the old leaves that are, that are still on the stem. So just do your best. Um, and you can see how easy I, this is for me. You know, if they do give you a little bit of trouble, leave them on there. Uh, don't, you don't want to hurt the plant. So. So I'm basically just going to take some, some more cinnamon, I'm going to pour it on there, and that's it guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, uh, do all that jazz. Um, you know, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Uh, it's not only a learning process for you guys, but it's a learning process for me as well. Um, 
you know, I only can can learn more as the day goes by. So, um, you know, I appreciate everything and appreciate all your support. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.